Please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified every time I'm on YouTube. Today I'm gonna share a new video on how to fabricate a Adams clasp which is concerned to the orthodontic department in industry. And uh, yeah, this is how the Adams clasp looks like after the fabrication. And uh, usually Adams clasp has two arrowheads, one bridge and uh, two retentive arms as you are seeing right now. And uh, this is the diagram of the Adams clasp or a retentive arm. And uh, these are some of the instruments used for the fabrication of Adams clasp. And now coming to the first step of fabrication of an Adams clasp that is a straightening of wire. Usually 21 gauze stainless steel orthodontic wire is used for the fabrication of Adams clasp. And after completion of straightening the wire, give a L shaped bend as you are seeing right now. The bend should be sharp. Now I am marking the second point that is the mesial undercut. The distance between the mesial and distal undercut will be the length of the bridge. And here mark the point for the second bend. And now second bend is made. And now beak of the universal player is placed on outer side of the close to the bridge of the Adams and uh, bent with the round beak, round side of the universal player. And surround the orthodontic wire around the round side of a universal player so that the wire will be bent in the shape of U and uh, this forms the arrowhead. Now close in the arrowheads so that the arrowhead will be as pointed as possible. The arrowhead is given a 45 degree twist so that the arrowhead will be 45 degrees to the bridge of the Adams. It is clearly seen right now. Now place it in the cast and check before you proceed. Now after placing into the cast, after confirmation, now we are good to go to the next step of the fabrication. Now the tip of the universal player's beak is placed half of the arrowhead and bent. Now by placing the universal player onto the bridge of the Adams clasp, adjust the free end to rest on in between the tooth surface. Do not bend at a time. Check for the adoption and uh, give a slight bend till the clasp will uh, perfectly adapt to the tooth surface. See now we got the 45 degree angulation which is very important for the Adams clasp fabrication. And now proceed bending with other side. And yeah, after the adoption of both sides to the across the tooth surface, in between the tooth surface, mark the point with the marker and then bend it according to the marking and cut the extra wire, retain to arms wire. And finally bend for the final adjustment to adapt well to the cast or to the tooth surface. A 
and in the same way start bending in the other side now i am bending the distal side of the tag arm cut the extra wire adjust it to the cast make some final adjustments finally and after the proper adaptation of the tag arm and the adams clasp to the cast start uh, closing the retain to arm strip close in the retain to arm strip so that it doesn't hurt the heart tissue or a pallet Usually retain to arm or a tag arm goes into acrylic when we are fabricating any removable appliance. And yeah, finally Adam's class fabrication is now completed. And Adam's class should be passive to the cast. It should not be active. And yeah this is how the adams clasp look like after the fabrication the free end of the adams clasp should adapt like this as i am showing right now in between the tooth tooth like this this is the 45 degree angulation in mesial and distal undercuts and this is the retain to arm and this is the occlusal view finally Thank you so much for watching my channel. If you liked this video, please do hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you want to tell something about this video, please comment down below and I'll see you in my next video till then take care.